Hi everybody, my name is Mark Lamati and I'm super excited to show you one of the most exciting features of Airflow 3.0. In today's video, we are covering event-driven scheduling. Indeed, in Airflow 2, you could implement DAGs that run based on an event occurring like a file landing or a table being updated using datasets, sensors or the API. But all of these methods had limitations around implementation or performance. And Airflow 3 has a better way, the concept of asset watchers, which are built on top of the new asset class. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I recommend you to watch the video about assets. Asset watchers continuously and asynchronously check whether a message queue receives any messages. Let me show you how to implement an event-driven scheduling pipeline. The first step is to import the message queue trigger that comes from provider's common messaging. You may need to install the corresponding Apache Airflow provider, which is the Apache Airflow common messaging provider in order to get that import. Next, you need to define a trigger that listens to an external message queue. In that case, AWS SQS. So obviously you have to create that queue first. Then you create the message queue trigger with your queue in it. And then you define an asset that watches for messages on that queue. That asset has a name, SQSQ asset. And then you define an asset watcher with a name and more importantly, a trigger. And that trigger is the trigger that you defined right here. Next, the last step is to schedule your data pipeline on that asset so that as soon as your queue receives a message that triggers the data pipeline and then you can read the corresponding message by using this for loop. So that's how you can create a truly event-driven scheduling data pipeline in Airflow 3. In 3.0, SQS is the only supported message queue out of the box. So if you are an AWS shop, we recommend you to start using this method for event-driven scheduling today. But if you don't use SQS, not to worry, other message queues will be a fast follow in the future minor releases. Or you can even implement your own. So if you're not already running Airflow 3 and you want to try this out, I recommend you to get a trial on Astro because that's the easiest way to get started with Airflow 3.0. That's it for me. I see you in the next video. Take care.